till I get you on the floor, good looking. Hey, going hot so hot, she just like it, love it. Hey loves, welcome to my channel. My name is Winnie Jean. If you're new here and if you're returning, then hey girl, how you doing? Today's video is sponsored by New... Today's video is sponsored by Unice. They sent me over this really pretty curly wig. It is like a jerry curly unit and it's a closure. So it's super easy to put on, but it's also giving very much scalpiana, okay? I wanted to come in and show you... Oh, ooh, why do I keep... Why am I so ghetto? Okay, so I really want to pop in and show you guys a cute little closure install that'll be perfect for summer. I'm in Texas right now. It is hot, okay? It's hot. H-A-W-T, baby, it's hot. And a frontal is just melting off. Like my frontals are literally melting off, glue and all. So I wanted to pop in and show you guys a cute little closure install that'll give you the frontal vibes, um, but not the frontal stress. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. And if you're interested in purchasing this wig, all the details will be down below in the description bar. So make sure you go ahead and check that out, as well as any product links and stuff like that. I'll do my best to put that down there. If there's anything that you want to know, comment it and I got you. But yeah, let's get into it because I did that. This install was cute. Let's go. Hey y'all. So. I got my little braids and I got about 12 braids in my hair because I'm wearing wigs this week. Um, if you know, you know. I like to wash my hair, deep condition it, blow dry it out or let it air dry and then I'll braid my hair into some small braids and then I can switch my wigs all week. Okay, so today's video is sponsored by You Nice. They sent me over this kinky curly closure wig. It's hot outside, like I'm in Texas right now. And when I tell you it's hot, baby, it's spicy. And I'm not really in a mood for a frontal today. I feel like closures are extremely beginner friendly. They are easy to apply. They look really, really good depending on how you apply them. And I ain't got time to be dealing with the little sideburns. Literally, those are like the bane of my existence. So I am going to do a little closure moment today, but I want it to look really, really natural. I'm going for a middle part vibe. This is what the wig looks like fresh out of the bag. I went ahead and bleached the knots. I didn't really pluck anything just because with closures, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little lazy, but I'm gonna show you how I finesse it. After I went ahead and bleached the knots, I washed the hair with some neutralizing shampoo and deep conditioned it, brushed all the curls through, and then I put the hair on my wig head and then went through section by section and kind of defined the curls. Then I put it outside on the balcony and let it like air dry. So I let it go ahead and like air dry so that the hair could be kind of nice and fluffy. And then I just used a uh, hot comb and I kind of hot combed around the middle part and around the edges. So I'm gonna go ahead and wear a middle part today. So pretty much the wig is bleached, prepped, ready to go. Um, my hair is ready to go. I slicked my edges like straight back um, and I'm about to go ahead and install the wig. So I have a wig cap. So I'm gonna just go ahead and kind of like scrunch it up. Not scrunch it up, let me show y'all what I'm doing. I just kind of like fold it like this. So it's kind of like flat and then I pop my little wig cap on. so the top can be like as flat as possible. And I have kind of a low hairline, so I like to bring it like a little bit behind my hairline. I'm taking a little bit of my foundation. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation in the color Cinnamon. I am obsessed with this foundation right now, but it's super inexpensive. So I'm gonna just put like a little pump on this paper. And you know, sent me this cute little brush with my wig. So I'm gonna use this little brush to apply this foundation to my wig cap and kind of blend it in with my skin tone. And because it's a closure, we don't have to do like the whole hairline. Mostly I'm just focusing right in the middle. Okay, let me get the weed. <laughs> me and my friend Ebony, like when we talk to each other, I keep looking at myself, sorry, but when me and my homegirl Ebony talk to each other, we always talk in like a British accent. So I think it's so fucking funny. Anyway, um, this is the wig. As you can see, I bleached the knots they look really good really really good and then i kind of just pressed everything out i'm gonna go ahead and pop her on let's see what she's giving oh this is pretty and i love the curls 
So I have it sitting a little bit in front of the wig cap. I'm gonna use some concealer on the part, so I'm not too worried about that. But overall, oh, I like it. The curls are really, really, really pretty. I brushed them through with a dimming brush or my little faux dimming brush um, from the Beach Supply. <laughs> Um, so it kind of got like some really pretty clumping of the curls going on. This is, I, this is pretty. Like, I don't think I'm even gonna cut it at all. Like, oh my God, this is, this is really pretty. Okay, let me, let me calm down, let me calm down. So I'm gonna go in with that same brush and whatever little foundation is left on here. And I'm just going to apply this to the lace. And it, you know, it just helps to give that like frontal vibe. I feel like if you put the same amount of effort into your closure as you do your frontals, they look really, really good. But y'all know that by now. Oh, it looks so good. Ooh, okay. I'm putting those combs on the side in and they really do add a lot of security for this wig. Normally for a frontal, I would take them off, but with a closure, they are like so necessary. I'm gonna go ahead and clip that hair back. And then let's go in and trim this lace off. At first I was gonna wait, but honestly, let's just get it gone so we can apply this wig and get it. I'm using this Wonder Lace, this Even New York Wonder Lace Extreme Firm Spray. It's the black one. And I'm gonna just apply a thin layer of this onto my wig cap and along like the hairline. And then you know I sent me this really cute like little melting band. So I'm gonna use this to tie this lace down. So while my lace is kind of getting laid, I'm going through and kind of shaking the hair out and fluffing it out to create some separation between the curls and some volume. I don't wanna make it too frizzy. I just wanna kinda separate the curls so that it looks like nice and full. Yeah, I was gonna cut it, but literally like, I, I just don't. <laughs> I just don't want to, I don't, I don't want to. I need to trim a couple of these curls just to give it some shape. But as far as like a cut, it is not happening. That's it. I'm not cutting nothing else. It's too juicy to be playing with this hair. I'm taking a little angle brush and a little bit of black eyeshadow. This is from a Morphe 9T palette. Yeah, I'm taking the color in Win Win. I think this Win Win. Oh, that's cute. My name's Winnie and the color is Win Win. But it's just like a matte black. And I'm going to take this around the part and kind of just clean that part up a little bit. I kind of over bleach the knots just a little. And I'm not really a fan of all those sprays and stuff. I kind of think it's unnecessary. I literally just take a little bit of eyeshadow and it kind of cleans everything up. And then I'm gonna take this Merit Beauty complexion stick in the color Buff. It's literally like the same color. You can't really see it. It's literally like the same as my skin tone. Uh, not super duper light and I'm just taking that on a little flat brush and I'm gonna run that down my part but I don't put it in the front so I like to do it while I have my little melting band on. I feel like when you bring the concealer all the way to the front it kind of just looks a little oh no it's not my favorite. Okay, and as you can see, the part looks super duper clean. The edges should be nice and laid, so let's see. Oh yeah. Oh, she's melted. Now you can leave it like this with no baby hairs, but not on this channel. So, <laughs> I'm gonna just part out some baby hairs, nothing too crazy. 
and then we're gonna curl and swoop those child and we're gonna be done A lot of people like to use styling foam, but for some reason my edges never come out right unless I use edge control. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use a little bit and I'll put it on like the roots of the little piece of baby hair and then I'm just gonna swoop them like normal. And I also like to swoop it into like where the tracks and the lace meet. That's what really gives it that frontal look because it creates like the illusion that your closure is way wider than it actually is. I want to say this is like a four by four closure. It's not a super big closure, but swooping those corners really give you that frontal hairline illusion. And that's it. This is the finished look. I hope that you guys really enjoyed today's video. I am obsessed with how this hair came out. I didn't have to pluck anything. This wig came as is. I just bleached it and installed it. No plucking, no frontals, no glue. Real quick. Thank you again to Unice for working with me. I hope that you guys really enjoyed today's video. It was super simple and quick and great for the summer, honey. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, babes. Hey guys, so I know the video is supposed to be over, but I wanted to pop in and show you guys what the hair looks like without all of the dramatic lights. I feel like a lot of these wigs look really, really good on videos, but when people do them on themselves or when they try the wigs at home, they don't look the same. So I wanted to show you guys what the wig looks like in natural lighting, which is like as close as y'all gonna get to being in my face, okay? But this wig truly looks amazing, like. This is natural lighting. As you can see, it's a lace, like, but child, burly. Like, she is really looking amazing. So, yeah, I just wanted to pop in and give you guys that quick little tidbit. And, yeah, bye again. Bye.